señores. Muy buenos días. Over the last year, Peruvian authorities have worked hard to stop auctions, initiate trails, and negotiate with foreign customs departments to ensure the return of illegally trafficked pieces of cultural heritage. I think that this is a very important moment. Uh, we have just received more than 300 of archaeological and uh, artistic pieces that have been recovered from Ecuador, from Chile, from Mexico, from USA. And uh, we are very grateful and we really would like everybody to understand that we shouldn't lose not even one piece. We want to recover everything, but instead of being recovering, we would like to be keeping our things. I think that that's the message. The stolen pieces were recovered over the past decade during operations in Mexico City, New York City, Quito and Cuyaco, as well as San Antonio, Chile. It worries us to see that illicit trafficking of Peruvian cultural goods continues. The networks are equal to those engaged in drug trafficking and money laundering. Today, as Cecilia Bacula, director of the National Cultural Institute, has said very well, we're handing over more than 292 objects because of collaboration with cities such as Mexico City, New York City, Quito, Paris and Los Angeles. We would like to thank authorities in all these countries. The government is fighting to recover approximately 40,000 pieces found in the renewed Inca site Machu Picchu. Some of these were loaned to Yale University and the United States in 1911. Meanwhile, in northern Peru, archaeologists announced the discovery of the remains of the warrior who had been buried some 2,000 years ago. The tomb could be key to learning more about the origin of the powerful Saipan dynasty. Sipan existed during the early stages of the Moche culture. The tomb does not have the splendor of, say, a governor's tomb. It might have been the tomb of a notable person, such as a warrior or noble. There are offerings such as ceramic vases of the highest artistic quality of the early Moche culture. The team is in the early stage of excavation and will continue its research. TITV Weekly.